did a great job presenting to a packed room. We also attended a presentation featuring LGBT students, which also played to a packed house and was very inspirational and informative. Uh, at that same conference, Mrs. James, Mrs. Drew and I completed the required SB 1566 training. Um, on Thursday, March 5th, I met with two MBA students from Rice University who interviewed me about my tenure on the board and the programs and policies we have collectively implemented since 2013, since Dr. Dupree's arrival. They're preparing a follow-up case, a follow-up case study to the one prepared by CRSS 15 years ago. And lastly, from my role on the TASB board, I've been asked to participate in bi-monthly teleconferences with Dr. Drew Howard, Senior Director of School Governance and Lone Star Governance Coach with the Texas Education Agency. I have forwarded a PowerPoint presentation he presented on the teacher incentive allotment uh, to Dr. Dupree. I'm sure there's other things on, on their mind right now, but uh, it's very informative. I won't go into the whole thing. Lastly, thanks to Mr. Burdine's influence, I was asked by Dr. Robert Long of Raise Your Hand, Texas, to serve as the moderator for two candidate forums, uh, one for House District 26, Rick Miller seat, and one for House District 85, currently occupied by Phil Stevenson. And in addition to that, Mr. Burdine served as the moderator for another Raise Your Hand, Texas House District candidate forum in the Katy area. They were all very well attended, and these forums were focused on the candidates' uh, support or lack thereof of public education. I've included a native MS Word document to Mr. Rozier for his use in incorporating into the meeting minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much for your reports, Mr. Rice. We really appreciate that. Next on our agenda is the consent agenda. Do we have any board members who want to pull any items from our consent agenda this evening? Yes. Yes, Mr. Burdine, I'd like to pull item 10A2. All this right. is Grail, Grail James. I apologize for not saying my name. Thank you, Mrs. James. Um, Mr. Rice, uh, would you like to make a motion? Mr. Pre uh, President, Jim Rice would like to recommend approval of the consent agenda in its entirety as it is presented with the exception of item 10A2. This is Grail James, I'll second the motion. We have a motion by Mr. Rice and a second by Mrs. James. Do we have any discussion? Yes. Harry, Mr. Mr. Rosenthal. Uh, before we vote for the, so we're basically voting for the rest of the consent agenda, correct? Correct, sir. Okay, so I have one comment um, on, um, let's see, item um, 10C3D. <clears throat> this is the construction for the new ag facility at Marshall High School. Okay. So I'm, I'm all for this. I, I love F FFA. It's a great program. Um, providing it to more to more more access to more students is great. Uh, the my concern and I brought it up in the workshop is that I really want um, the superintendent to um, make a commitment to consider another facility so that folks down at Hightower Ridge Point and High School 12 will have a facility there too because otherwise it, it will be impractical for those students to travel all the way up to Marshall and make that an effective program plus they'll be they'll be you're basically asking six schools to share one bar and that's not done anywhere else in the district so that's all I'm all for this um, but uh, I, I would like Charles to, to make a comment on that and make mm -hmm. sure he's, you know, he's heard yes, what sir. I said. 
Yes, yeah, so I can Talk. speak to that. So even this is Charles Dupree, superintendent. Even um, at, after the workshop, I met with staff. And what the plan is at this point, as you know, there'll be a design and construction period for this project. So the, the existing barn on the high tower site, near the high tower site on Trammell Fresno, will be operational for a while. And we're trying to time all of this in such a way we'll be able to get the funding and design and construct the other one, uh, an additional site, as you've described in a timely manner. And we'll be identifying that site in, you know, sometime in the next several months. Of course, again, as we get through the current situation, but it is on our priority list to identify so the, the community can know and we can inform the board about where that site would be located. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your comments, Mr. Rosenthal. We will now vote. We will do this by roll call as we've done in the before. Um, I'm gonna call your name. Please state your name and please vote yay or nay. Um, please give a few seconds after you state your name. Mrs. Allison Drew. This is Allison Drew. Yay. Thank you. This is Addie Helliger. This is Addie Helliger. Yay. Mrs. Grail James. This is Grail James. Yay. All right. Mr. Jim Rice. This is trustee Jim Rice. I vote yay. Mr. Dave Rosenthal. This is Dave Rosenthal. I vote yay. Mrs. Kristen Tossan. This is Kristen Tossan. I vote yay. And this is Jason Burdeen. And I also vote yay. Motion passes. May I have another motion? Mr. Burdeen, this is Jim Rice. I vote that we accept uh, act item 10A2 as presented. Yeah, I have a second. Mr. Burdeen, this is Grail James. I second that motion. We have a motion by Mr. Rice and a second by Mrs. James. May we have discussion? Yes, this is Kristen Tossan. Mrs. Tossan. Yeah, I, so this is the item uh, for the, uh, the contract with the county to call the May 2nd election. Um, due to uh, the public health crisis that we are facing in uh, not only in Fort Bend ISD, but around the state, nation, and the world. Um, I believe that it's in the best interest uh, of our public, of our community, to, um, to not move forward with this contract uh, with the county, but to consider um, postponement of the election uh, for uh, on behalf of our students, our staff, uh, and our community. And so um, I would uh, vote and recommend that our trustees vote uh, not to proceed with this uh, contract at this time. Uh, all right, thank you, Mrs. Tossan. Mr. Rice, did you have a comment? Yes, this is Jim Rice and uh, Mr. Burdeen. I would agree with Mrs. Tossan. We are the largest employer in Fort Bend County. Uh, currently, the earliest that we think we can bring kids back is at the end of the April 10th uh, quarantine period, which effectively means April 13th. Uh, and that leaves just a couple weeks before the May election. And I just don't think anybody can be out campaigning right now during this period of uncertainty. And I think we owe it to uh, everyone's health and well-being to 
uh, to cancel at this point in time. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Do we have any other comments? With that being said, we are now voting on item 10A2. Once again, I will call roll. State your name, give me just a few seconds, and then say yay or nay. This is Allison Drew. This is Allison Drew. I vote nay. Mrs. Addie Hilliger. Mrs. Addie Hilliger. I vote nay. Mrs. Grail James. Mrs. Grail James. I vote nay. Mr. Jim Rice. This is Jim Rice. I vote nay. Mr. Dave Rosenthal. This is Dave Rosenthal. I vote nay. M Mrs. Kristen Tossan. This is Kristen Tossan. I vote nay. And this is Jason Burdeen, and I also vote nay. This motion does not pass. Uh, Mr. Burdeen, I would like to make another motion at this time. Okay. May I have a second? Well, let me a second. May I make the motion. Oh, right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Please make your motion. All right. I move that the board approve postponement of the May 2nd, 2020 board election pursuant to Governor Abbott's March 18th, 2020 proclamation and to direct board president Jason Burdeen and superintendent Charles Dupree to create an order pursuant to the governor's proclamation for consideration at the board of trustee meeting on April 13th, 2020. This is Allison Drew. I second that motion. All right. We have a motion by Mrs. Tossan and a second by Mrs. Drew. Do we have any discussion? Yes, Mr. Burdeen. Go ahead, Mrs. Tossan. I would just like to say that I'm making this motion in an effort to be transparent to our community uh, about where our board is headed. Um, and in light of our, um, of our, uh, the fact that we did not approve the contract with the county um, to move forward with the May 2nd election. Um, and so I just wanted to state clearly for the record, uh, my purpose that it, as it's related to the contract and the board's intention moving forward. You're on mute, Mr. Burdeen. Thank you, Mrs. Tossan. Is there anyone else that would like to make a comment? All right. I agree with you, Mrs. Tossan. Um, we have to protect the public health of the community. And uh, um, I think that's extremely important. So um, we will now vote on this motion. Um, we will once again have a roll call. Please state your name and uh, vote yay or nay. Mrs. Allison Drew. This is Allison Drew. I vote yay. This is Addie Helliger. This is Addie Helliger. I vote yay. Mrs. Grail James. This is Grail James. I vote yay. Mr. Jim Rice. This is Jim Rice. I vote yay. Mr. Dave Rosenthal. This is Dave Rosenthal. I vote yay. And Mrs. Kristen Tossan. This is Kristen Tossan. I vote yay. All right. And this is Jason Burdeen. And I also vote yay. This motion passes. We were now going to move along to um, uh, next on the agenda is our action items, which we don't have anything this evening. 
So Dr. Dupree, we'll, we will review our future board meeting agenda items. Yes, sir. As you know, uh, everything we're, everything is currently in flux right now, given the current circumstance and staff's 100% dedication to launching online instruction in the next week. So we have a bunch of items on here for April, but many of those are going to be postponed. Um, and so at this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I will say one thing we are going to honor in April for certain is the instructional management internal audit report um, that has been coming. Um, we'll withhold. We'll, we'll, there's other items like the board trustee training update. We'll need to determine if we're required to do that in April or if we would now do that um, in relationship to the to the election when it is scheduled. We will revisit budget development and do a quarterly financial update. And um, um, April is a month also for contract renewal and non-renewal and termination, as well as transportation is how, how, and hazardous routes. So we'll be determining how, for example, contract renewal at this point, we don't have an end to the school year to even to reference for any non-renewals or, or renewal. So we will be doing a lot of work in the next several weeks on all of these items. Um, and we'll be providing a more comprehensive update um, at the workshop in April. Thank you very much, Dr. Dupree. May I have a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. This is Addie Helliger. Addie Helliger moves that we adjourn. This meeting is now adjourned. Thank you all very much this evening. I appreciate all your uh, all of you being here.